not burning up. So. That's so trippy. Yes, it is. The moon. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Is it a UFO? We can't figure it out. A viewer reaching out saw these large bright lights in the skies over the strip in downtown. He says they're bigger than the helicopters we see circling uh, many, many times. And we just heard back from Nellis. They say not involved in this. So if you think you know what these are, you've seen these, you can reach out and let us know right on our website, adusnow.com. Top story there. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, laugh it up, dude. No, no. How many people do you think are getting this on video? Like, we're, we're probably the only humans getting this on video. Why? Well, there might be one or two. Well, why are we... I don't know. We're just lucky. We're looking at the right spot at the right time. I'm telling you. We're... See? <laughs> now, now you're believing me because they're moving. It's like... Like more upward. Yeah, I told you. Now, now it looks like a half circle at the bottom. Yes. Yeah, like yes. It was. It was like like more up angle. Yes, yeah, moving. Because I remember standing right here and I can see it. Uh, Look at my phone. No, Look at my phone and say, just wait.
you see the SpaceX? It, it, it left it off. I, you see, that's the direction of the fucking um, Cape Canaveral. So every time there's a um, launch, we'll see it. I saw it as soon as I came out. I missed it. Just, but I saw it. It was lit up and everything. So I was like excited, but I missed it. It's cloudy too, so. This looks like a plane, maybe. Pas du tout, du tout. It's not moving. Hello. Là, c'est rien, c'est peut-être quelque chose, mais je ne sais pas ce que c'est. Je ne sais pas. C'est quoi
Yeah. Send that to me. What the fuck is that? Bruh. It's red. Going up. <laughs> that shit went in the cloud, bro. <laughs> so there's a story going around that a woman in Canada captured a pair of witches eating on a dead deer's carcass. So you can see the deer on the bottom of this image and the two individuals that are being called witches on the internet. According to this woman, she placed the camera outside of her property or in that position because she wanted to see what kind of wildlife the dead deer's body would attract. As you can see, here's another image. You can see the woman's face more clearly, the nose and the forehead. And she appears to be eating either the leg or something as she's crouched over. So this is what I want to show you. We have a bunch of those aircraft flying overhead right now. And what people think are bugs showing up in this camera, which are causing the disruption from the actual footage I'm trying to take of the sky. I want you to see this, okay? Do you see any bugs? Maybe one. Okay. But when you look on the camera. So here comes another one of those craft. Right. I'm going to. You're only going to see a flashing light. I'm doing my best to document this. They're flying right overhead. Okay. Once again. Night vision camera. You got all this. I mean, really, what are we looking at here? There's no bugs. Does that look like particulate matter to you? Anyway, at least this night vision camera, I've got the timestamp on there, so you can at least see the frequency in which these flyovers are occurring. But all this noise showing up, it's frustrating. You know, I have other night vision cameras set up around my home, security cameras. 
and it doesn't have any of this. It's just set up in the backyard pointing at the sky. But once again, pull out the flashlight, there's no bugs. So I just want to make that clear. And you see how this stuff is falling downward and all over the place. I mean, it looks like it's alive. So here comes another one of those craft. Okay. You can hear it. And right about now it's showing up in the night vision camera. Look at that. A team of researchers, including Harvard astronomer Avi Loeb, may have just found a trace of an interstellar object in the ocean, which Loeb believes could have alien origin. So if you guys aren't following along with this story, I highly recommend tuning in. Avi Loeb, along with the Galileo Project, are currently in the Pacific Ocean, and they're recovering materials from a meteor that landed there in 2014. And apparently, some of the materials they're recovering don't seem to be naturally occurring, but may have been produced by some sort of technology. However, this meteor apparently came from interstellar space. So check out this clip, and he's going to tell you a little bit more about what's going on. And we are assuming that uh, these small uh, droplets that melted off the surface of the object when it entered the atmosphere and burned up, uh, those droplets uh, would be attracted to the magnet. And so we were sort of moving the sled back and forth across uh, a region of uh, about 10 miles. And uh, amazingly enough, we found the needle in the ocean. So what, tell us what you found and why there is evidence of intelligent design. We uh, followed on data about a meteor that uh, landed about uh, uh, 50 miles away from the coast of Papua New Guinea in 2014. And uh, when analyzing it, it became clear that it came from outside the solar system. It was moving too fast to be bound to the sun, and it had material strength that was tougher than iron. And so that raised the possibility that it may be artificial in origin, technological, a spacecraft, just like uh, New Horizons that we sent out uh, that we go to interstellar space and imagine it colliding with an exoplanet.
Ito ba lang? Ito ba rin?
right, what the hell is that? Honestly, what is that? A plane. Some sort? What the fuck? What is that? sky over the city. just in case because it dimmed to nothing in case it decides to go somewhere else. You know, like zip across the sky, which is typically what happens. I wonder how many people downtown saw it. 